So when you think about countries that are poised for just gigantic economic expansion and growth, of course some names that come to mind would be China, maybe India, Brazil, and Taiwan. And a lot of times people want to invest in these opportunities and capture the value created by those economic expansions. But they want to do that in an easy and safe way. And that's why Vanguard created the Vanguard Emerging Markets Exchange Traded Fund, ticker symbol VWO. In today's video, we're going to examine VWO. We're going to look at the composition of this ETF. We're going to talk about its risks and controversies. Stick around to the end. You'll hear my thoughts on why I personally invest in this ETF and why you should consider doing so as well. All right, let's go. Okay, welcome back to Joshua Talks Money. This is my channel where I talk about everything personal finance. I like to share stories and the lessons that I've learned, and then I'm still learning about money after I had built and sold my tech company, and now I focus a lot on investing. If that sounds good to you, please consider hitting that like button, hitting the subscribe button. It's totally free to do that, and it helps me tremendously as I continue to put out videos like this one. All right, so Vanguard's VWO ETF, they describe it themselves as a fund that's aimed to give exposure to these emerging markets. It has 5,250 different holdings. If you compare that against something like VTI, that's far more stocks that make up this particular ETF. The fund was started in 2005 and it currently has about $110 billion of assets. I believe there's a dividend yield of around 2%. I actually see some of those dividend payments from the VWO that I own personally, and so that is a nice benefit. If we look at the expense ratio, it's 0.1%. That's about three times something similar to VTI or VOO. And that makes sense because there's a lot of moving parts here. There's a lot of exposure to different stocks in different countries and keeping that all moving. If we look at the top 10 holdings, those comprise 21% of the total ETF. And those are companies like Taiwan Semiconductors, Tencent, and Alibaba. You've probably heard of some of these names. These are very big, massive conglomerates and companies. And those obviously have a big weight in this exchange traded fund. You'll see that this ETF, if we break it down by country and where it's invested, China just leads the pack here over 30%. And it's followed by several other countries that you'd expect on this list. And you can see them outlined here from Vanguard. Okay, and so if we wanna look at the performance historically of VWO, we can do that right on their website where they talk about the different returns based on time. And you can see in the one year, the VWO has returned about 5.8%. The five year is 9%. 10 year is 4.7%. And since inception, as I'm filming this video, an eerie 6.66% <laughs> return on VWO. Now, if we compare those returns to something like a benchmark of the S&P 500, you'll see that the S&P 500 has just crushed it compared to VWO. And so that would lead you to believe that that is indeed a better investment. And you wouldn't necessarily be wrong, but keep in mind, this is not about past performance. This is not about what happened yesterday. It's do you have any conviction that the S&P 500 and the US stock market will continue to dominate that way perpetually? Or is there a lot of upside and a lot of potential for these other countries that haven't truly had the economic boom and you know, broad uh, ride up to success that the United States has seen you know, over the last 100 years? And if you ask someone like Warren Buffett, he's famously said that you should not bet against the US stock market. But I am a big believer in diversification and that's why VWO is worth a second look but it's not without its own risks and controversies. And there's some recent news as I'm filming this here in December, 2021, that talks about this topic specifically. And that topic is China. Now here in America, China can be viewed as this economic threat, this existential threat to the United States superiority, both militarily speaking and economically speaking. 
And if you live here, I feel like that feels obvious. You know, you, you just feel that there's this massive emerging superpower on all fronts over there and it gets highly politicized and that's not what we're trying to do in this video. We just want to acknowledge that they indeed, that country is indeed an emerging market. Uh, if, you, if, if anything describes that term better, it would be China and their rise economically. Okay, so that brings me to Ray Dalio. Now, he is a famous, famous hedge fund manager. You've maybe seen me mention him in other videos. And VWO is actually one of his largest, I believe it is his largest holding in the fund that he manages, as well as many other similar type emerging market investments. And I believe that he thinks the United States is poised for a quick decline and countries like China are going to fill that space as they come from a position of strength and innovation. And he's very vocal about this. And in fact, this just drew attention from Mitt Romney, the senator of Utah. And he criticized Ray Dalio, not only for his, uh, what he calls a, you know, intentional ignorance of some of China's uh, human rights abuses, but the fact that he's so willing to invest and almost, quote, bet against America uh, openly can cause a lot of political controversy. And that's very warranted. You know, as you put your money to work in some of these countries, you may not agree with the, the formation of their government. You may not agree with some of the things that they do, uh, but that's not necessarily the full way you should be evaluating your investments. And if you take a look at something like China, this is where the risk to this type of investment does come into play. You may recall where Jack Ma, the, the founder of Alibaba, one of the largest holdings in VWO, basically disappeared for a while. And this guy's a billionaire. He's one of the most famous, successful entrepreneurs alive, and he's just gone. But on the flip side of that, you think about some of these big companies in those markets, like Tencent. They, they've brought apps like WeChat to the market and countless other massive companies underneath that conglomerate. And then Taiwan semiconductors, you know, these are parts used in most of the technology that you use, including your iPhone. And, and so those are very real, impactful places uh, to invest. And it's kind of bundled in this ETF for you to consider. All right, so how do I personally feel about VWO as an investment? Well, I feel strong enough about it to invest my own money. I do have a, a smaller position in VWO. But it's not something I've went really heavy into just yet. In fact, it's one of my worst performing investments, believe it or not. I kind of bought it at a weird time and I haven't really felt compelled to continually invest in that. So if I had been dollar cost averaging since I started, then I'd probably be doing pretty okay, but that's not the case. Uh, those dividend payments that I received, those are nice, but overall I am negative on my position. And as far as the, you know, moral and and political, you know, side of investing in something like this emerging markets ETF, here's how I view it. If you were trying to be super pure with every place you put your dollar and avoid any controversy or any uh, any evil in the world, you're going to have a really tough time because this world is is a broken place and it's very hard uh, to avoid and not be involved with things you may not fully align with. And I mean this because if you look around, most things that you're using are made in China. Your iPhone that you're maybe watching this video on is produced in China. So if you were so opposed to some of those things, you'd have to almost check out of functioning normal life uh, to uh, uphold certain values. And so I think you need to stand up for what you believe in more broadly. Um, but do I think it's wrong to invest in certain markets like this? No, I do not. So that being said, I very much agree with Warren Buffett, however. I, I believe the United States is resilient. I believe that the companies we produce, the entrepreneurs that are here, they're gonna continue to change the world as they have. Just think about how many amazing inventions, amazing technologies were created right here, and that's the bigger upside, in my opinion, uh, than some of these other markets. But it's still worth having a little piece in different areas so that you're diversified and you can embrace the future as things change. Okay, that's it for VWO. 
If you want to watch more videos just like this one, please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every week. We'll continue to talk about money, share lessons together, and let me know if this was helpful in the comments. I will write back to you personally, and I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, my God.